Another thing which you can do once you're logged into Populi is update your contact information and also change your password. If you click on the My Profile tab on the top here, and then if you click on the Info tab, um, that's where you can update your contact information. You can change your phone number, uh, you can change your email address, you can change your physical address. So physical address, that's an important one um, because that's what we would use if we needed to send you a financial aid refund check, for example, uh, for like if you had Pell Grants coming to you and there was more money that you were going to um, be getting for your Pell than was necessary to cover the cost of the courses. Also know that the email address with a star, that's what's called the primary email. That's the one we use to notify you from Populi and also from your courses themselves within Canvas. So it's important that one is correct. Um, so if you wanted to update one of these things, you just click on this little menu on the far right of it and you can click edit phone number. Um, same with this you could switch one to be primary, um, same with the address. Um, so this is just a way that you can update your contact information yourself. Um, you could also email us at support at cityvision.edu if you'd prefer uh, to have us make that update. Um, similarly, there's a way that you can change your own password uh, in Populi. Uh, if you still have the ability to log in to Populi, you can log in and then from the drop down menu here in the upper right, you can go to where it says settings. Um, and then you can change your time zone um, if you want to let us know what your time is um, that you're in. Um, and then under the security section, um, you have to know what your current password is. So type that in first, put in the new password, and then put it in again and then you can hit save settings. Um, also under here is in notifications. Um, you can put in a text message uh, notification number. Um, we, um, after you do that, you have to hit send verification code and then it's going to ask you to put in the verification code so it can confirm that that worked, uh, that that went to you. Um, that's just a way we could notify you of urgent things that are specific to you, like if you were about to get dropped from a course uh, for lack of activity. So that's not something that we would use very often, but uh, sometimes if there's something urgent we need to get a hold of you about, um, that can be useful. Um, some of these other notification settings on here, um, you won't see those and those won't be relevant. Um, to you, particularly because um, your actual discussion posts will be in Canvas. So that's something we'll be talking about in another video in this series. Thanks.